hey guys hope you are doing good this is saurav here again and uh, today's session is about uh, search engine optimization and uh, here i am going to teach you the basics of seo so to get started let's understand what is search engine search engine is nothing but a directory where you go and search for your requirement at some point of time in our lives we used to use uh, different ways in order to figure out uh, the database of people uh, right from plumbers to lawyers and uh, today it's a different era uh, we use google for most of our questions to be answered and uh, sites like google yahoo bing aol these are the major search engines which can help you in discovering answers for your questions or solutions for your problem so results on search engines are as per a query so whatever you search will help you in identifying content on the basis of what you type down as words on the search bar of google or of yahoo or of bing now remember each of these search engines out there have their own methodology of ranking what comes first on the results out there and that's because of the crawlers that they have in place that goes and crawls your website or the content that you have written on your website or blog and according to the popularity or the originality of the content they start placing your content on the top list of google what is search engine optimization the process of bringing your website on top list of search engines like google yahoo or bing is nothing but search engine optimization the search engine optimization process uh, since past so many years have been carried out in three different formats one is black hat seo process where you go through paid means of promoting your website and getting backlinks for your website white hat seo service is where your content on the website goes viral organically for the value that it delivers and gray hat seo service is where you create one parent website and so many baby websites out there where these baby websites support the quality content that is written on the parent website while you promote parent website you equally promote the baby websites but the focus of promoting baby website is to focus is to promote your parent website out there so these three processes have been carried out by various companies across the world but the one which has been very successful is white hat seo service now there are 100 plus factors that determines the ranking of your website but in nutshell these are some of the most crucial factors that determines how your website comes on the top list of search engine factors like domain authority domain authority score out of 100 which basically shows the strength of your website to bring it on the top list of google social scoring how well is the content of your website received on social platforms the choice of keywords the keywords plays very important role when you create your content marketing strategies as well as the search engine optimization strategies so the keywords determines the success of your results on search engines as well as the success of results in terms of building traffic the fourth factor is website navigation website navigation is about how smartly is your website design how easily a person can navigate from one page to another with just few clicks out there responsiveness of the website matters a lot so if your website is not mobile friendly then you are definitely going to lose the social scoring out there so it is essential that you have your website responsive i have been insisting on this since day one if you are creating a website on wordpress definitely you can have your website uh, mobile friendly so that's one of the easiest platforms where from where you can actually develop a responsive website backlinks backlink is nothing but how many people refer your website on internet so if i run this blog called sorofjane.com or i run a website called ecomi.in which is my company and you all run a blog and since you are doing my training program you go and give backlinks to us because you were satisfied with the training program or if you have to give a feedback to us it's of a great credibility building factor for us that you are referring us on your website so the hyperlinking of the keyword sort of jane or digital marketing agency or your blog and linking it to my website or my company's website is a great value add to us so how many backlinks do you have in the picture and how many quality website gives you backlink matters most so for example if you are a starter and you have a new website and you are giving me a referral will not matter that much as websites like times of india or the hindu or any bigger companies out there which has better domain authority give me a backlink matters a lot 
Now, one important factor on search engine optimization is how many times you make regular updates. Many of us in this country or many of us in the world think that website is a brochure. We build it one time and just let it go. But if you have built a website which is like a catalog and you're not updating it regularly, then there is no value add that you're giving to search engines to come and revisit your website. Whenever you make an update on the website, Google has its own spider which comes and crawls your website and sees what you have written and it will take your content and put it on the top list out there provided you have, ma you have matched a lot of these factors that has been given here. Now, regular updates can be done either by adding a lot of products or by adding a lot of images on your website but the best way to update your website regularly the best way to update your website regularly is by having a wordpress blog in place on your website which is constantly updated sorofjin.com is a blog ecomi.in slash blog is a blog these are the tools where we create fresh content on a day-to-day -day basis to engage the audience as well as to engage search engines. The ultimate motive of writing content on your website or blog is just not to engage the existing audience but to invite the fresh audience who is doing the search on internet out there. Some of the other factors are page authority and there are many other factors which is associated with the rankings of your website on the top list of Google. Now SEO in nutshell is a two phase process on page off page it's also known as on site and off site. Some of the factors that determines on an on page site is content, meta tags, W3C validation, site map and many other things which is given out here in the space and off page is about link building about how many articles you submit on different sites for example you do a guest post on my blog and i give a backlink to your site submitting on directories these are some of the things that people used to do submitting on the forums going and commenting on various things going and commenting on blogs and writing some interesting stories and ensuring that you get a lot of publicity as well as visibility of these content on search engines. Search engine optimization, it's like gambling where you just never know what new update that Google might bring in and you have to customize your entire process accordingly. There have been so many updates by Google in the past, which is called Panda update or Penguin update for that matter. These updates have changed the whole ball game of how search engine optimization has been taken forward. When I joined this company called Contempo Technologies in year 2005 or 2006, and I was contributing content value there, what mattered most at that point of time was how many times you use the keywords in your content. And we used to have one particular keyword, let's say digital marketing agency, written in the content close to about 10 to 15 times and that would probably bring our website on the top list of Google at that point of time. But today, Google does not want repetition of the keyword again and again on your blog or your website because then it, will, it, it believes that it's an act of bringing your website on top, top list of search engines. Believe me, search engines hate search engine optimization. Why? because it would want you to invest in Google advertisements so that they make more revenues. So search engine optimization is a trick and you need to know this trick because how much ever you spend on your Google advertisement, you will always get a sense of satisfaction when you see your website ranking on Google organically and you drive traffic organically on your search on your website through, through these search engines out there, which eventually is a mutually beneficial activity where you contribute amazing content so that it benefits the readers through Google or Yahoo search. And at the same point of time, you get benefited because of the traffic that it brings on your website. Now let's understand SEO through technical process. I'm searching for digital marketing agency out there so I go and go on Google search and type down the word digital marketing agency now what you see here 
add option so first add second third fourth so the listings here are the results of google advertisements this is a paid way of bringing your website on top list of google now when you go below what you see here digital marketing agency chennai rage communications echo me out here now this listing is basically a search engine friendly listing out there so these results are also the product of local listing so you're more likely to see results here from chennai market you're more likely to see results here from a local market so today search engine optimization is about local optimization where you try to ensure that your results get listed when people from chennai are trying to search for a digital marketing agency so when i search for digital marketing agencies in india so if you see there are three blogs there are three results which comes on the top organically these are the paid results so let's avoid them let's avoid the paid results let's look at the free results out here now this one has 25 digital marketing companies this one has 100 digital marketing companies and this one which is my blog has about 300 digital marketing companies out there now the factors that determines search engine optimization i have clicked on that link so if you see i have used the keyword digital marketing agencies india in the url i have used the keyword in the title and i have also used the keyword here in the content in the body of the blog post so these are some of the factors that determines how you or your website will be listed on the top list on the basis of keyword so what what matters most for a search engine optimizer is the choice of keywords there are tools like google keywords planner tool just go on google search for keywords planner tool click on this link log in with your gmail account so google keywords planner tool will help you in identifying keywords that people are searching for and it also give you the volume of search so it will tell you how many people are searching for those keywords on which you are going to write your content or for which you are going to do your search engine optimization so for example i search for this keyword digital marketing training in tamil nadu i want to get an idea from national level perspective so how many people in this country are searching for digital marketing training so when you feed this data which is giving the basic keyword and the location you have to instead of going for group ideas click on keyword ideas so on an average every month about 1000 people search for digital marketing training at the same point of time there are other keywords which is suggested by google which is digital marketing courses digital marketing course online marketing courses internet marketing course so if you notice here digital marketing course courses or course in india has close to about 6600 average monthly search so my blog post on so when i search for digital marketing training in india the blog post which has the word 50 best indian digital marketing and social media training comes on the top list of google out there yeah it's amongst the top 5 results 1 2 3 4 and 5 now there's a new blog post that is written so 
I can expect for the keyword digital marketing training or social media training, I might have the traffic coming from search engines. At the same point of time, since digital marketing courses has close to about 6,600 people searching on an average, there's a blog post which is written with an objective of helping the community at the same point of time with an objective of driving traffic to search engines. So we have close to about 20 best free digital marketing course written here and the keyword that we are tapping is free digital marketing courses or digital marketing courses. To make it more local, more national, I can work towards it or rework towards it with a focus on free digital marketing courses in India. But it will not justify the body of the content because I have not just taken the courses here from uh, India alone. It's a global level free courses which is available for people to take at the online world. So that's about choice of keywords. So, so use Google Keywords tool which will eventually help you in discovering those keywords on which you are going to build your quality content. Remember, even before using Google Keywords tool, you should sit down taking a paper and pen and figure out what would be those keywords that you think your customers might search for. So this is a task for you. Take a paper and a pen and note down what do you think would be those keywords that you think your people or your customers or your prospective customer will search for. For example, you sell homes. So your customer might be searching for affordable homes in Chennai. Your customer might be searching for 2 BHK homes in Chennai. A customer might go even more local here. He might be searching for 2 BHK homes in Kandivali or 3 BHK homes in Porur or 4 BHK homes in a particular location where he is looking out for location. So your keywords are basically these locations from where you want to build your traffic or for whom or for the locations for which you would want to build your traffic. So you need to have a content accordingly on your website that's going to help people in discovering answers for the questions that they have raised on Google. Now some of the important other important factors that you need to do in order to get started with search engine optimization is after you identify keywords and when you develop your content, you need to integrate uh, the plugin tools on your WordPress. Uh, my last session has been about how do you integrate uh, your, word, your plugins and what are some of the important plugins that you need to integrate on your WordPress. If you have still not created your website or your blog, trust me, it will be very difficult for you to understand what I am trying to teach you. So please take some time, have your website in place and put things into practice. So now let's look into this factor. So integrating Yoast SEO plugin or SEO ultimate plugin on your blog is very important. So for example, I have written a recent blog post on 12 tips for writing effective email subject line. So the keyword here is effective email subject line. To add more value to it, I'm going to make it effective email marketing subject lines because it is more relevant to the marketing as a subject. I'm going to edit and if I want, I can add the keywords here too. So now this has keywords, this has keywords. So the tools below, this is an SEO ultimate plugin tool. There is keyword written here. So your title tag should be less than 70 characters. You need to have meta, meta description with keywords incorporated in the description. This tool can help you in doing your basics SEO right. I also use Yoast SEO. So you can use yeah, either use Yoast SEO plugin or you can use SEO Ultimate. SEO Ultimate is much easier to get started with. Yoast SEO is more effective. So you can choose whichever plugins you want to use. So you can have the title here as well as description here. These two factors determines what you will see on your search engines out there. So if you're searching for digital marketing, case studies in India. So the blog post here that you notice. You have keywords, digital marketing case studies, digital marketing case studies in the URL as well as in the title.
these are the things which are added using the plugins out there so we had created this blog of simran patni last time and uh, i will be creating some sample content there and uh, it will help you to understand what has been done uh, in order to get the seo rolling there so i'll probably do a video recording for that as well and send it to you our next session is going to be about blogging and in detail about blogging how to get the right content how to prepare headlines and titles and uh, in meanwhile some of the other factors uh, that determines how uh basically your website gets ranked it's about it's about right content and amplification of this content on different websites out there so these are some of the factors that determine search engine optimization i'm looking forward to have the next session with you so your task today is very simple guys one integrate the seo ultimate or yoast seo plugin on your wordpress two identify the keywords that you think your customers will search for in order to figure out your product or service three use google keyword planner tool and identify those words with high search volume on which you would want to build your content your question would be sort of how should i really build content or how should i write an effective blog out there we will answer this question of yours in the next session till then thank you so much it's always pleasure hosting you looking forward to host you again goodbye